uh, uh, what's known as martial law troops out here. And that's what's gonna, that's what's really gonna bring about a lot of, uh, 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 headache. Okay, a lot of, uh, well, not headache, but more, that's what's gonna bring about a lot of judgment upon a lot of people, man. Okay? So it says there, um, Alas, for that day is great, so not, none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So although it is the time of Jacob's trouble, what, what, what is this truth? What, 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 what the Lord, what has the Lord had uh, happened within the earth? You had it where the teachers, the, the prophets of the Lord have been out here teaching. Okay? And that's how it to where what? A lot of a lot of, a lot of men are gonna be in the right state of mind. A lot of scripture says, uh, 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 knowledge, wisdom, and understanding was gonna be the stability of thy times. Okay, that's that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have a lot of people, a lot of Israelites, which are of the elect, that are gonna be within their right mind within that time. So therefore what? Therefore you're gonna have it to where what? Uh, the elect was going to be uh, 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 saved out of it. In fact, if I just jump into a quick precept, and then I go into the book of um, uh, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. So this is the book of Proverbs one. And at uh, 7, and then I'll jump down to 21, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools, um, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, so pretty much how you, how you get into the understanding, pretty much you have to fear the Lord. So here it is, uh, uh, and then the scripture says that what? Through fear, we was going to persuade our uh, people, right? So check it out. You got a, you got, you got a situation where, uh, pretty, oh, there we go. Okay, you got a situation where pretty much, um, uh, uh, we, we speak about the, the prophecies of the scriptures, man. Okay, we speak about what's going to happen within the future and through the, the fear of the, the things that the Heavenly Father was going to be... Uh, uh, through the fear of those things, okay, the Heavenly Father was going to have it to where people were going to come into the understanding. Because here it is, I just we, I just went through a whole uh, 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 mon uh, montage, I don't know if montage is the correct word, okay? But I just went through a whole thing, okay, uh, speaking about what? Speaking about the the, the, the uh, martial law, okay, the civil unrest that's going to come about as a res as a result of the people re re wanting and desiring reform, all right. But but guess what? What's going to come out of that is going to be what? It's going to be the civil unrest. It's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, and for, as 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 a um as a uh, um as a fear as a fear of all of those things, okay. People was going to be coming into the understanding of the heavenly father. So knowledge. So, so what? Fear. Okay, it's the beginning of understanding, man. Because you fear how you was going to be, right, when those things was going to come in within the earth. Okay? You was going to fear, here it is, you, 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 I just read within the scriptures, well, I read within the article, okay, and I was going to read within the scriptures, was going to come within the earth. That was supposed to persuade you into uh, being in a state of fear. Now, for some of the people that were within the earth, okay, the most size uh, devoid them of that fear. Okay, and if you're devoid of that fear of the Heavenly Father, what's going to happen? You was going to not come into the understanding, man. Okay? If you wasn't going to be, if you wasn't going to be, um, if you was going to be in the fear of the Heavenly Father, how were you was going to, how was you going to come into the understanding that the Heavenly Father was going to come, man? Alright, you was going to be in a state of being uh, uh, asleep, okay? And that's what the scripture says, that the gross, gross darkness was going to cover the earth, okay? Not only gross darkness, sorry, that's, that's a different scripture, but rather more, you was going to have, uh, um, not gross darkness, but you was going to have a, 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 um, a situation where um, uh, uh, um, the Heavenly Father was going to put a spirit of dark, uh, a deep sleep, especially on you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you don't even know what nationality you are. Okay, he was going to put a, a, a spirit of a deep sleep upon you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and really over the whole earth, man. Okay, you got a whole bunch of people that are in a state of sleep. So when we speak about the things concerning prophecy, when we speak about the martial law, when we're speaking about the civil unrest, when we're speaking about the uh, the, uh, the downturn in the economy, okay, you got to tell a whole bunch, of, really the vast majority of the people on the earth, they're so far deep in sleep that they can't see these things uh, 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 coming on the earth. Okay, they're so uh, heavily engrossed within the sleep, okay, that they can't 
perceive the the, the, the thought of ever uh, something ever uh, something more uh, um a uh, uh, day that's gonna be uh, uh, darker than the ones that we're living in ever coming upon the earth because they're so deeply engrossed in their in their, in, in, in their uh, lacks of days way of living but the reality of this situation is that what when you do have a, a, a open a, a third eye so to speak okay you understand you can see the prophecies playing out okay you can see that these different things uh, not only are the mechanics of them uh, uh, out there but rather more the whole thing has been actually the pressure has really been uh, uh, being raised by the elite banking families you was going to come into the understanding that you're going to get right with the heavenly father so that when these things do play out you was going to be in a good state that's what that's why the scripture says that what fear is the beginning of knowledge man okay because through fear you was going to be persuaded in your own mind like the scripture says let every man be persuaded in his own mind okay but through fear was every man was going to be persuaded within in his own mind to 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 to, to get right with the most high not just every man but the, the the really the elect this truth was for the elect okay of the israelites man okay so now let's continue here within the um within the book of proverbs it says um this is proverbs 1 and 20 it says wisdom quiet without she utter the voice in the street so where was you going to understand where was you going to get the understanding Right, it's all good and well having a good memory and remembering a whole bunch of things, okay. But how was you gonna get the ability to make good decisions, you, which is wisdom? You was gonna get that within the streets, man. That's where you. And that's where the prophets of the heavenly father was gonna be out there. They wasn't gonna be in some church. They wasn't gonna be out there in, in, in the cathedral somewhere. But rather more, the heavenly father sent out his people, his his men, okay, the elite of his men, okay, to be within the churches. Oh, it's not within within the churches. That's the saying. But rather more to be within the streets, okay. When you read the the, the scripture, what did it say? It says, "Go through the." Through the the highways and the hedges man okay go in the midst of this midst, midst of my people where they you're gonna be seen you're just gonna be exposed to elements man and it also says that what go uh, go preach in season and out of season and how was the prophets with what what ilk or what mindset or what what manner of a, um, a conversation were they were gonna, was they gonna be coming in the scripture says that they was gonna be coming in, in the same conversation that the uh, uh, the prophets came in okay during the time of Jeremiah during the time of Nehemiah they was gonna be coming in the same mentality and speech and uh, Jeremiah was prophesying against many uh, the prophet Jeremiah said that what the prophets that have been before me and uh, before the of all prophesied against many countries man they prophesied against many kingdoms that what was they saying they was talking about civil unrest they, when Jeremiah was on the scene he said to uh, unto, um, uh, the, the people that was at Jerusalem after the kingdom had split and all their history had come up about, but it was uh, uh, Judah was still there, and the Babylonians, uh, 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 the Assyrians, and all the Babylonians are taking them down. Jeremiah was saying, "Look, uh, um, the Babylonians was going to surely come, man. Okay, and they was surely going to come, and they was going to take down uh, 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 Judah. That's what he was saying." Right, he was saying there was going to be famines, man. And what, what am I saying? I'm saying that you was going to have a, 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 a very specific to the topic that I was going through. I'm telling you about the civil unrest. I'm tell, I was telling you about how it's going to play out, man. It's going to play out by the people wanting reform, okay? And everybody, want, everybody now, no matter how asleep, uh, asleep they are, they're thinking about how ways could be better, man. They're thinking about how much, how, how strong the, the British currency used to be five years ago. How they used to be able to go out there into Europe and buy all kind of things for 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 uh, for one sterling, okay? You 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 got its way out there. You got uh, the people out there within America. They're talking about the, their own form of reform, and it's gonna come to a head where they're gonna have they gonna come up against their uh, um, respective governments, and as a result of coming up against their respe respective governments, they was gonna uh, be met with a large amount of resistance, and that's gonna lead to what? That's gonna lead to the martial law. And you've already seen the martial law troops being out there, man. But for the vast majority of the people, they ain't even in the mindset. See, really, when you see the people out there protesting, those are the kind of the more higher level thinking individuals within the society. When you're protesting, that means you you kind of you kind of believe in something, or you're believing that what things ain't working out how they're supposed to be. All right, you're really thinking in in a, in a, uh, in a, a quote unquote more woke uh, 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 a mindset. But the vast majority of the people out there, they they they, 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 they ain't even thinking like that. Okay, they're just thinking things are just gonna be all right, and it ain't gonna be all right, man. Okay, but the point I was making is for the for the for the average person. Okay, they're already acclimatized to having a uh, uh, martial law troops that being out there. I've been in so many different malls across Britain. Okay, when you on a random day, on a random random Sunday, you're gonna see what military troops uh, patrolling, patrolling what, protecting protecting uh, protecting bread, milk, and eggs. 
No, man. Them, them, uh, uh, them military troops that you're seeing out there in these different, uh, uh, um, these different uh, 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 um, stores and whatever, whatever. Whenever they come out on a random day, they are there to acclimatize the people to the uh, sort of order that the elite banking families are gonna bring out here within the earth, man. Which is the order by way of the martial law troops, and therefore the so-called new world order, of which the scripture says that they actually ain't gonna be able to achieve that. <laughs> That's the that's the that's the trick, man. But in in an in an attempt to achieve that, there was going to be a lot of fearful uh, fearful situations within the earth, man. As a result of them trying to establish their so-called new world order, there was going to be a lot of situations within the earth that was going to bring great fear upon the people, man. Okay, famines. Okay, uh, 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 um, martial law. All right, martial law. You got curfews. All right, you got rations. Okay, you got um, you got uh, tanks rolling around uh, 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 and patrolling particular cities. That's what's gonna be coming to the earth, man. That's what's gonna be coming to a, to a city near you. Okay, like the court goes. So continuing here, it says um, so a uh, wisdom cry without she uttereth a voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse in the openings of the gates, saying, um, how long do you simple ones will you love simplicity? And that's that's the reality of the situation. Okay, how long are you gonna live in a state of of being? Uh, 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 unaware of your surroundings, man. Okay, what's being planned out out here? There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a plan that's in motion, and you can clearly see the plan that's been in motion by the, by where the elite banking families. If you just follow the, they just follow the, the, the simple steps. You read the scriptures. Okay, you see the news. What's happening within the news? Okay, you see the, 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 uh, the, the general, uh, um, what well, trajectory over the last 20 years? The, the, the trajectory. Okay, whether it's an economic trajectory, whether you're looking at, uh, 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 um, um, uh, 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 what's, what's it called? The, the housing market, okay. Whatever, tr whatever measure of wealth or whatever measure of happiness you wanna, you wanna put music. The trajectory of music, okay. The, the, the quality of food that you're getting out there. It's everything is on a downward spiral. The only thing that's on the up, okay, is what civil unrest is on the up. What's also on the up? The World's War Three coming about is on the up. That's why you're seeing a mass presence of, of, of troops from all over the world going out there into the Middle East. Doesn't the scripture say that the Mosai was going to pour out his spirit out there within the Euph river Euphrates? And that's when you're seeing all of these troops, they, they're coming together and they're there as a collective and they're getting ready for wars, man. That's what's on the up. Okay, what's on the up, what's, what's, what's becoming more and more prevalent is actually uh, uh, what, the, what the Bible speaks about, which is what? Which is civil unrest. Which is World War Three, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, which is uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, let's spam the camera there. Oops. There we go. Which is what? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the hour of temptation. That's what's becoming more and more and more okay prevalent, man. That's what's becoming more and more and more within the news. That's what's becoming more and more and more okay. The end thing. Okay, what's what's the out? What's the what, what's on the out? Is what? Is, is 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 affluence okay what's becoming less and less is what is is uh, uh, um a financial enlightenment okay or, 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 or you you don't see in these adverts that like you used to see within the 70s of the white picket fence and everybody doing all right okay and they go on uh, uh, three holidays a year that's becoming less and less and less of a common thing but what you're seeing more and more of is 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 is, is um people speaking about safe heavens tax havens okay uh, 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 um what's it called a uh, bunkers you got a lot of these elite banking families and some of the people that are underneath them that are millionaires or whatever or whatever heavily investing in 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 in, in bunkers that's all uh, nuclear bunkers that's what that's what's really on the end thing because regardless of how asleep you are you can't be nobody. Everybody's not ignorant of the fact that out that there is tension between Russia, America, and China, and Iran, and so on and so forth. Everybody's aware that there's a, a, a there's a, a, a writing and and um and protesting all over throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, and all of that's gonna uh, 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 lead to, to the fulfillment of the prophecies that you read within the scriptures, man. So continuing, it says here, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in scornings and the fool hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof, and behold, I'll pour out my spirit unto you, and I'll make known my words unto you. All right, and that's dealing with the elect, because only the elect was really going to hear the words of the, you know, the men of the Lord, and they was going to turn at the reproof of the men of the Lord. They was going to hear the word and say, hold on a minute, you know, this makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Okay, yeah, because I seen that within the news the other day. Okay, so what about this? That's how. That's how. That's the. That's the mindset of the, of the elect, and they was going to turn at the reproof of what. Of uh, um, it was going to turn at the reproof of uh, of the men of the Lord, and at, at, at the turning of the reproof of the, of the men of the Lord, the, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, was going to pour out His Spirit unto them.
Um, turn you out my reproof and behold I'll pour out my spirit unto you and I'll make known my words unto you because I called and you refused and I've stretched out my hand and no man regardless but you set up not at all of my counsel therefore will I laugh at your calamity and I'll mock when your fear cometh and when your fear cometh as a desolation and the whirlwind and when distress and can anguish come upon you okay so that's that's what's gonna come that's that's what's been prophesied and then let's go back to what let's go back to I don't know what's happening with my uh, my auto zoom my auto focus is bit messed up today that's a bit better okay so now let's go back to the topic dealing with uh, sedition and civil war unrest and all that good stuff and let's read it now within the book of um, 2nd Ezra the 15th chapter and then uh, maybe I'll go to the book of Mark the 13th chapter and then I'm gonna go into a different topic after that so I mean the, the stage has been set and you know hopefully it's making sense at home from what I've read and, I, and unfortunately I did read it when the, when the bells were going um, but hopefully it's making sense so this is the book of 2nd Ezra the 15th chapter and I read a, a, a particular scripture from here a little bit later uh, earlier on but now I'm gonna read it from the top on down and explain it and then I uh, explain it with reference to the article I read it a little bit earlier on so this is the book of 2nd Ezra the 15th chapter on the first verse on down it says behold speak down the ears of my people the words that I shall speak within uh, that shall put within thy mouth and that goes back onto what? That goes back onto the, the precept I read a second ago within the book of um, Proverbs, the first chapter. Turn you out my reproof and behold, I uh, pour out my spirit unto you. That, that's, that's, that's following the instructions of the Heavenly Father unto the, unto the prophets. Go out there and teach. How are the people going to turn out the reproof of the Heavenly Father if you don't see the teachers? That means if you've got this understanding of all you people out there back at home, okay, uh, so-called uh, 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 home chilling or whatever, that means if you uh, 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 know this word, you're supposed to go out there and teach man okay if you if you are at home out there and you so-called understand the word of the heavenly father or whatever whatever you're supposed to be out there going out there and, 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 and teaching okay that's the instructions that was given out there to uh, uh, go through the midst of israel to the midst of my people and teach okay it says behold our speech uh, so this is the second verse second Ezra 15 and 2 he says and uh cause them to be written within the paper so we don't have the the uh, pit, the, 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 the the papyrus anymore okay we, we put the electronic papyruses out there right now okay the e epistles okay the 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 the, 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 the um the books the video books so you can understand the video uh, blogs okay which is these videos that go out there all right so we're writing them within the um uh within the within, within the digital uh, um uh thing out there and it's being pushed out there right and cause them to be written within the paper for they are faithful and true fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the in incredulity the unfaithfulness of them that trouble thee and speak against thee so you got scoffers and elder gabar put up a video was it yesterday okay maybe a couple of days ago regarding the uh the scoffers man okay which the scoffers is is, is like here it is you got a you got here it is okay you got it to where you got a, 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 a worker right whether it be a builder okay or a plumber okay an electrician a, a mechanic you got a worker right and he's out there on the on the front yard going in he's working and across the road you got the scoffer scoffing okay but here it is the worker is going to get the, the reward here it is he's putting together the 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 the, the, the um he's he's putting together the profession or whatever it might be okay he's working and you got somebody speaking up speaking up against the work guess what the work is going to uh, reap a reward man all right so them them scoffers the the, the reward that they're going to reap well, they're going to get no reward except for the judgment man because he, because the the, the, the workers that the, the, the heavenly fathers got which is the prophets the, the reward of the prophets was that they was going to be um uh, uh, they was going to be uh rulers okay they was going to be uh, uh running everything that's that's happening here within the within the earth okay they was going to be chosen on their heavenly father to be uh to be saved man all right so the scripture says that what fear not the incredulity of the scoffers man second peter is the third chapter right and then in the last days they shall come scoffers uh, uh walking after their own lust which is what's their lust to chill out and relax man when you see the vast majority of the, the comments that are made against the, the Hebrew Israelite teachers, it's, it's from dudes that are out there chilling, and they hate the they hate the word of the Heavenly Father being pushed out there because it removes them from their lust, which ultimately their lust is to go out there and chill, okay, to relax and be and be and be cool within Babylon, okay. And what I mean by cool is to be uh, to be uh, to be chilled out, okay. That's the vast majority of the comments that, that get made against the, the men of the Lord. It's, 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 it's going back onto what the um going back onto um what happened within the time of your side that they was the the, the 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 Jews were saying amongst themselves let's get rid of this guy let's the Romans okay take our take away our position 
because they was they was all right. They was chilling. That's what Jake wants, man. You look at the comments that get made about the videos uh, against the, the, by the scoffers against the men of the Lord. They, these Jakes, even from other Israelite camps that, that come up against Great Millstone, these Israelites want to chill out and relax, man. But we're not getting into chill that and relax times, man. Okay? We're getting into, into the, like I've been saying, the times of the martial law, the civil unrest. I read about how it was going to come about. Okay? I, heard, I read about, and we're seeing these things come to pass, man. We're seeing these things within the earth. Okay? We're seeing the, the, the people coming up against the government and you're seeing the government resisting them by putting out their martial law troops all over the place, man. And all of this is gonna be it's gonna be increasing pressure, increasing pressure until the whole pot blows, man. Okay, like you have a um like you have a pressure cooker. That's what's happening. That's what's happening within the earth right now. The whole earth is like a pressure cooker, man. And the pressure is mounting, and one day somebody's gonna like, like a pressure cooker, you're supposed to let it. You're supposed to let it reduce in pressure before you open it up. Excuse me, I couldn't help hear you preach. Uh, That's I was in uh, Five Guys. Yep. I got two burgers for free. Well, they gave me one by mistake. I don't know if you're hungry, dude. No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. okay. But uh, thank you very much, though. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you. It's all right, bro. Thank you. Um, but continuing, uh, uh, um, like I was saying, um, which is that's a good thing that, that that guy did. That was a good thing. I mean, I don't know if he's an Israelite or anything. Okay, he, you know, he clearly doesn't look like an Israelite, but the Heavenly Father put that spirit on him to 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 to, to, to do that. <laughs> I'm not taking no food from a random person. Though. <laughs> Right, so continuing, um, I hope that fucking bells, those damn bells don't start again. Um, so continuing. So continuing, um, what was I saying? I forget my train of thought, so I'm going to go back into the scriptures. So the book of Second, uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I'll bring again, the, I'll bring uh, Second, Ezra, Second Ezra 15 and 4. Alright, it says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So you got a lot of people that are unfaithful, okay? Which when you go into that word, uh, 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 um, uh, faithful, effeminate, it goes back onto a lack of faith. That's why the scripture says within the book of 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, okay? Uh, for all, um, it says what? Um, Neither will any effeminate make it unto the kingdom. That means a lack of faith, man. That means to say you read the scriptures, but you don't you don't believe, man. Okay, when you read this Bible, it's supposed to put up. Well, you it's cold out here, man. There's all kind of things I could be doing right now that's more interesting than this. But this this truth uh, burns a particular uh, 